that's the letter W. And Dennis Spooner, the British script writer, always felt that a script is like a W. Um, in that the top of the W, here and here and here, are the peaks of the action. Um, it starts with a hook. Uh, something to get the audience watching. Even if, like The Wizard of Oz, it's the ordinary world. Judy Garland with her family and friends and dog on the farm um, before something happens to shake up that ordinary world. Or it can be um, something shocking like for example in Goldfinger where Bond is on a mission he blows up this installation and then um, he is attacked by a man in a, in a bathroom and then it cuts into the opening titles so there are different kinds of hooks really um, of course the purpose of the hook is to get the audience watching and then you can feed them information so he felt that that really gets them Dennis Spooner felt that this really gets the audience this hook and then you feed them enough information to build up to a peak in the action so there's information, developing that information to a peak in the action. And that will be the end of Act 1. Act 1 being introduction. Um, introduction of the world, introduction of the characters, introduction of the situation. Uh, and then Act 2 will be developing that world, those characters, that situation. Uh, and then you would do the same thing. You would... Um, you would develop that information, you would give that information, you would develop that information and build up to a second peak. And, um, and you know, it's very important, it can't all be on one level. I was writing a, a book a few years ago that was one long car chase from John O'Groats at the very top of the UK to Land's End at the very bottom. And um, I'd always wanted to do something that was just one entire chase. And um, I realised that it couldn't be at top level all the time because the audience need time to catch the breath. And you, you, you would have problems pacing it. You would wear yourself out. The audience would wear themselves out. So you've got to have peaks and troughs in the, um, in the action uh, to help with the pacing, to help with the momentum so that the audience can sort of like always be, be there. Um... So we'll come to this this next peak here, and then again you um, introduce more information, um, you develop it, and you build up to the third act peak, which is the resolution. Of course, depending on the length of the script, you'll have more than one W, um, but that's basically it. So introductions. Um, we've talked about The Wizard of Oz, we've talked about Goldfinger. I'm thinking about a couple of openings to my scripts. And um, I'm going to think of one in particular uh, called Cloak and Dagger, uh, opening Gambit, uh, which is the opening scene is on a, a giant chessboard. And it's not like Harry Potter, it's a kind of a spy combat zone. And. Um, it it's meant to be odd and bizarre and I visualized our own Kachachuri and Sabre Dance segueing into something kind of up tempo uh, house uh, music style uh, something very modern um, so there, there is a moment in the middle of the melody where it it goes from classical to the contemporary. There's a kind of a half 50-50 really in the middle. And um, I felt that that was a, a kind of an electrifying start to that project. Um, another script, which is... Um, Man Z. It's about a man who is downtrodden and everything he touches turns to dust and he is kind of everybody's fool 
and nothing works out for him. He gets up every morning, it's like Groundhog Day. There are certain people he detests and he sees every day. He detests his job and the mantra of the job doing this telesales thing. It's very soul destroying and dispiriting. And that is really the hook because you, you kind of, in, you, you know intuitively that this can't carry on like this. Otherwise, how depressing would that be? So you kind of go along with the depression and the gloom knowing or rather hoping that things are going to turn around for the guy and of course that would happen by uh, the halfway point of the script so that's just a few thoughts on hooks and next time i'll be looking at the first act of the script the introductory act